This program is intended for mature audiences. Parental discretion is advised. What's up, guys? I'm your host, Bird, and welcome to our very first episode of Real Vivid TV. Today, we have a quick interview with local hip-hop artist T-Funk, and be sure to stay tuned in at the end for our live music video. You don't want to miss this. Yeah, man. So tell us what you've been up to and uh, what the fuck is up. Uh, oh, man. I've just been a bunch of uh, relaxing, honestly, dog. I've been taking some time to myself. After I released uh, after I released Chapter 2, I wanted to spend some time with uh, just my family, my girl. You know, take some R&R, &R, man. Get some time to recoup. You know, find myself again. Um just really uh cleanse myself of anything and everything um just to get my mind prepared for the next project you know yeah it's always a, it's always good to uh to take a step back reflect on uh you know on on your body of work see where you were at that time and see how you can grow from it you know see where you can try to improve see where you can uh uh excel at and you know, just try to bring a different perspective into your music, and uh, um, I definitely think that taking some time after releasing some shit is, is key to, you know, to making the next project even better. Yeah. So uh, definitely just took some time off to myself, did a little bit of traveling. Uh, nice. Kicked it with the fam, kicked it with my girl. Where'd you go? Uh, I went to the Grand Canyon for the first time. That was pretty wow. dope. Wow. Yeah, never been there before, so that was pretty cool. Uh, Earlier before COVID actually hit, I went to fucking New Orleans, which was really, really dope. Fucking probably one of my favorite cities ever. Uh, but yeah, man, uh, planning on uh, doing some more uh, some more traveling soon. So hopefully uh, hopefully COVID will let us do that shit. Yeah, hell yeah. So what, what are some places you want to travel to? Or even better, since I'm interviewing you, where's somewhere you want to perform? Like Paris, Europe? You know? Uh, I definitely want to go visit all the European, you know, all the, all the European fucking countries. Um, but one thing that I've always wanted to do was perform at, like, uh, Lollapalooza, like, fucking Berlin or Lollapalooza. Um chile or something crazy you know something in like southern you know in south america or you know possibly even in fucking you know in 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 asia you know somewhere like japan or you know that'd be fucking sick dude. yeah so, definitely something, would something so different from our culture but to see that music is able to touch them in the same way that they touch you know that it touches us it's uh that's something that I really want to experience, man. Seeing a different culture react to T Funk, man, that would be that was that'd be something beautiful. Right, like just being somewhere else in another environment where they don't understand you, probably already makes you nervous enough. But the fact that you're excited for it, I mean, that that that's awesome, yeah. you know. Like, and um, you know, so tell me a little more about um, people you want to work with. You know, what are what are what are your dreams, man? Like. Where do you see yourself in, in five years? What my question would be. Um, probably one of my biggest, uh, my biggest dreams is to, ever is to play Coachella. It's probably one of my biggest dreams that I've ever. Fuck yeah. 
Coachella is just like you know that's that's it, dude. You may you play Coachella, you you will gain popularity like that. But it's not even about that. It's just the dream of being out there, being able to you know perform in front of that crowd, man. That crowd looks intense. It looks amazing. So just I want to play Coachella hopefully one day. Um, some dream collaborations that I've always thought of were uh, Stevie Wonder. That's uh, a good one. Uh, Snoop Dogg. Um, Snoop. Uncle Snoop, man, that would be that'd be a dream come true right there, man. Uh, hey, Snoop Dogg, if you're out there, <laughs> hit us up, man. Uh, definitely. Uh, well, if I'm gonna be doing, if I'm gonna be for real and like really try to say what I want to, you know, where I want to see myself, I want to see myself rapping with Nas and J Cole in five years. Nice. That that is probably my dream collaboration right there. Would be me, Cole, and Nas right there that would be the craziest collaboration i could ever do in my entire life so uh shit if y'all my real fans you really want to do that make sure you tag fucking cole and Nas. and make sure I, you know let them know that i'm looking for them i want that i want that collab man that's that's the way to do it just blow them up blow them up and get their attention you know and um i i've been in your shoes before i i i know what it's like you know accomplishing goals and actually climbing the ladder you know um would you ever bring anyone under your wing you know like have you spotted any youngsters or any new upcoming artists or is there anyone out there that you feel like should be up at the top and is not up there yet um i know there's a lot of oxnard artists that are really pushing hard right now man so shout out to all the uh all the homeboys that I've that I've had the uh, you know the privilege of getting to meet and getting to work with uh, all all great cats you know man Young Demise you know shout out to the homie Young Demise uh, shout out to the homie uh, Crazy P1 P, uh, sorry P1 P3 uh, you know the homie at, the homies at uh, Deadline Records are real real cool they've been super easy to work with man they're uh, they're hard working motherfuckers man they push a lot dude so you'll be hearing a lot you know, from them coming soon. Um, shout out to my homie Adaptive. Um, who else, man? Shout out to the homie Legacy Raps. Um, we, we're gonna be getting some tracks going together soon. Um, who else, man? Shout out to the homies at Laugh Mob. Shout out to all the homies at uh, I Gutted Cigar. Uh, you know, they put me on a show one time and that was, that was mad cool. Uh, shout out to the homie Cap, Cap K at the Lab, uh, the Lab 805. Um, shout out to all the homies at Silly Panda, the Blacksmith. Uh, you know they, they got a nice team going. Um, one cat that I just recently met uh, that I, I'm really really like I'm, I'm fucking with his flow and I really I really like the way he uh, he raps, man. The homie Enzom out of Oxnard too. That guy goes crazy. I have heard of him. Yeah, man. He's 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 making some noise right now, bro. He's he's ill. Uh, shout out to the homie Lee Recca from Fillmore. Um, and the homies, uh, the homie Cryptic, you know, Westward, they have a little group together, Westward, they're pretty dope. Uh, all of us got on together at a, at one of these, uh, 805 live shows that me and my boys, uh, Cap and Crazy, uh, we put together this thing called the 805 Live. So you guys might, might want to go check that out, man. It's pretty much just putting on all kinds of 805 artists, uh, of, of all types of genres, man. It's not just hip hop. Um, we really do want to just uh, we want to put on artists, you know. We want to put you guys onto these people because these we have so much talent here in, in Oxnard, man. And there's there's not enough media going around that's just about us. It's about the Drakes and the and, and you know and the fucking little Uzis and all this shit that you know it, you don't get to catch all of the uh, the talent coming out of <laughs> your own fucking city bro yes I would you know agree. I would you know agree. people people don't even know about all these artists in their own fucking city and it's because they're too busy listening to some trash ass music that's on the fucking radio uh so we want it to be that platform to show you guys what real music is coming out of your own fucking city out of the 805 out of oxnard uh wherever you're from in the 805 you know but um yeah man shout out to the homies at uh, uh at the dark room crazy and cat man we've been we've been working we've been doing some some real good shit man so uh stay tuned we should be getting another 805 live show coming up so if you guys got a, a favorite artist and shit that you guys want to see on the show make sure you go fucking tag them on uh, on the dark room uh uh 80 the dark room 805 on 
uh, on Facebook and uh, the underscore darkroom uh, on Instagram. And, you know, I've noticed you have a new song out right now called Special Night. Um, you know, what was the process of that like? And um, what was it like working with that artist that's featured on that track? Um, it was it was an amazing experience to be able to work with my homegirl Shalani. Special shout out to my homegirl Shalani. She wrote an amazing record. Uh, um, me and her have been talking about that for a long time. And uh, I just wanted to give her, you know, whenever she was ready to go ahead and, and, and you know, come out with whatever, you know, whatever her creativity allowed her to. And uh, it came out with an amazing song. She, she wrote an amazing record and working with her was effortless. You know, uh, I feel like because we've known each other for a while that it was just easier, you know, uh, the vibration was there. Um, it, it just, you know, everything just came together so unique and so, you know, so easily, so quickly that it was just, it was, you know, it was hard to stop all that creativity from just, uh, you know, from just creating even more records, you know, we yeah. had to stop and, you know, like, this is it, you know, we gotta, you know, we gotta focus on one. So we're definitely gonna be hearing more of her, right? Oh, absolutely, oh, man, absolutely. Nice. We, you know, we're gonna be, we're gonna be working together a lot more and we're gonna have a couple more tracks coming out. So, uh, be, you know, stay, stay tuned, man. She's, she's an amazing artist and, um, she's just an amazing singer. She's an amazing person. And, uh, yeah, I just want to say a special shout out to my homegirl, Shalani. Thank you for helping me, um, with this track and thanks for blessing us. And, you know, be sure to check them out, like he said. And, uh, you know, there's always ways to uh, reach out to us as well, Real Vivid TV. Um, we're on Instagram. We're obviously on YouTube. And you could also reach out to us via email, realvividtv at gmail.com. If you're interested in bringing some light to your music and you're a local hip hop artist and we haven't recognized you yet, well, we got an eye for that. Well, there you have it, guys. This is Real Vivid TV. Real people, real talent, real vivid. Catch you guys next time. Hope you guys stay tuned in and enjoyed the episode. Shows in a five, call that level enough. Lock car, yeah, we running them up. We ain't stuck in the mud. Around your city, got your name in the smut. I asked around, they don't know you, cause they running me up. Yeah, everywhere I go, they loving some funk. From the bay getting hyphen, is the A getting crunk. I might Jordan with the one handed dump. Mo was rolling with the loud, you could have swore you were smelling the skunk. Break the tree, roll a trunk. Post them up, now we drunk. You with the losers in the back, smoking all of the bunk. Well, either way, you only pass that shit. Keep it moving to the right, and let the whole room lit. Uh, now keep it packing, we can keep. The party cracking till the early a.m. Baby, now we off that lick. <laughs> My shawty acting, I don't really know what happened, but she moving so attractive that I must admit. Log car, yeah, we running the mud. Gang shit, now we leveling up. You know we level up. Log car, yeah, we running the mud. Gang shit, now we leveling up. You know we level up. Log car, yeah, we running the mud. Gang shit, now we leveling up. You know we level up. Log car, yeah, we running the mud. Gang shit, now we leveling up. You know we level up. I've been staring at the same mirror for four whole days, trying to. Choose my path in life or it go both ways, but it's inevitable. And I'm prepared to take the title as incredible. So with this incredible flow, I ain't stopping, man. I'm going for broke. And I ain't saying that I'm broke, just don't got money to blow. So we blow another check, a couple hundred or so. Just to make it all back after rocking the show. You know, at all comes a time. Wish I could tell my younger self that everything will be fine. Just worry about yourself and keep on speaking your mind. And don't want no one death your like it's boy, you ready to shine. Boy, you ready to shine. People telling me it's not my time, but I persist to bitch, you ain't gonna knock me. Off my ground, got this flow down packed like the shit is a science. I'll be David, you could lie if I be slaying the giant. Log car, yeah, we running the mud. Gang shit, now we leveling up. You know we level up. Log car, yeah, we running the mud. Gang shit, now we leveling up. You know we level up. Log car, yeah, we running the mud. Gang shit, now we leveling up. You know we level up. Log car, yeah, we running the mud. Gang shit, now we leveling up.